Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. On today's video, I'm cooking up barrel fried chicken on the pit barrel cooker. Just like fried chicken, except less oil. Well, no oil, and it's easy, it's fun. Let's get going. So the original plan for this recipe, I was going to buy a whole fryer and just chop it up. Instead, I went with thighs, chicken thighs. I love chicken thighs. I mean, there's so much flavor and they're <laughs> already broken down. The only thing I needed to do was just remove those big flaps of skin. We're gonna start off with the breading. One and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one cup panko breadcrumbs, one tablespoon baking powder, two teaspoons ground black pepper, two teaspoons paprika, two teaspoons kosher salt, two teaspoons all-purpose rub, and what I'm using is Pit Barrel Cooker's all-purpose rub. <laughs> Throw that in there. And one teaspoon garlic powder. Get the lid on here, and I wanna just make sure I get everything coated. Especially, I want that baking powder to kinda of work its way around in here. You'll see why in a sec. All right, that's looking good. Okay, we're going to have kind of a, an assembly line here, so I'm gonna move this over here. Right next to the breading, I have an empty bowl. We'll see what that's going to be used for in a sec. And right next to the empty bowl, I have here some cornstarch mixed for some really great crispy chicken. And basically what we're gonna do is double bread these. In the empty bowl, I have here some club soda. This is going to react with both the cornstarch and the little bits of baking powder that are in the breading here. And it's going to create little gas pockets, which make some killer, like almost exactly, well, very close to fried chicken. So take that first piece of chicken and hit that cornstarch with it. And you'll see this fizz up like crazy when it goes into this club soda. From the club soda into my breading. We're just going to continue on there we go i'll meet you guys at the pit barrel really fast before we actually start this cook i almost forgot to tell you guys i have a book on amazon that's currently available on pre-order it'll be released on november 26th but it's called american barbecue sauces marinades rubs and more and it is regional recipes there's like the title says sauces rubs and marinades etc but there's also 15 actual cook recipes a lot of the recipes are from, you know, all over the country, but there are several that are my personal recipes. So I'll have a link down below. Please check it out. Like I said, it's on pre-order right now and uh, very proud of this book and I'd like to share it with you guys. Pit barrel's all fired up. On this particular cook, I'm using briquettes. Lump charcoal's fine. I have that lower damper fully open and I will not be using the rebars. Now, very important. I did want to preheat the grate, so I'm putting this in cold. Then we'll get that chicken on. And we are cooking. So I'll be taking a peek at this. I want to check the color. Once I get a nice golden brown on the top here, I'm going to turn them over. And really, I'm just monitoring the temperature. I'll be pulling this chicken at about 175 degrees Fahrenheit. See you guys in a bit. We're about 30 minutes in. Check it out. We're not quite there temperature-wise yet, but these are looking gorgeous. Now, normally I would have sprayed this grate with a nonstick, but I'll, I'll admit I forgot. But it's looking good. So we're just going to let it keep rolling until again I hit that 175 degree mark. We're at 50 minutes now. We hit our target temperature. These things are looking insane. Let's check that out. So I'm going to pull these pieces of chicken off the barrel, get them plated up, and give you guys a try. And here we have it, my first bucket of ballistic fried chicken. This stuff looks so good and uh, the smell is just amazing. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Just such crisp skin. I'm telling you, this is so easy. 
And the thing you're getting that you don't get out of a regular, you know, bucket of fried chicken is you're getting a little smoky flavor. This is just such a winner. Not too long ago, I did buffalo wings where I, you know, did this kind of fry technique like this, the breading and pit barrel. And then as soon as I was pulling them out of the pit, I put them in a stainless steel bowl with a little wing sauce in there, gave them a toss, and it was killer. Anyway, guys, thank you for stopping by. Again, keep those suggestions coming in. If you haven't subbed, please. See you in the next video. Cheers.